For this video, we are going to show how to register for an event in the new 4-H Online system. Please note that this is an example event. As such, your event registration, including questions, requirements, and fees, will be different. If you have any questions about the registration process or requirements, contact your local extension office or event coordinator. First, log into 4-H Online with the same login information you used to enroll. If you need assistance logging into 4-H Online, contact your local extension office. There are three ways to access events in order to complete the registration process. Events will only be visible if you have a family member who is eligible to register for an event. If you do not see an event that you expected to see, contact your local extension office for assistance. The first way to access an event is to scroll down below the member list. There you will see a listing of events that are open for registration. Click the blue register button to begin. The next way to access events is to click the events link in the left navigation panel. Again, events will only be listed here if you have an eligible family member within your profile. You can view these events as thumbnails or as a list by clicking between the grid and list buttons. The last way to access an event is through a member's record. From the member list, click the blue view button next to a member's name to access their record. On the left navigation panel, click the events button. Clicking the register button in the top right corner will allow you to begin registering the selected member for the event. To walk through the registration process in this video, we are going to choose an event from the family home screen. You are welcome to use any of the ways mentioned previously to begin the event registration process. To begin, click the blue register button below the event. From the pop-up box, click on the name of the member you wish to register for the event and click the blue Select button. Only eligible members will show up on this list. Next, you are presented with the registration types. Typically, you'll only see one registration type for the member, but if more than one is available, click the correct one and then click Start Registration. Some events have sessions enabled. If sessions are available for your event, you'll be asked to choose them first. If sessions are not enabled, you'll be taken automatically to the next sections. Choose your sessions by checking the box next to your choices and then click Next. In this next section, you'll be presented with the questions for the event. Questions that are required are notated with a red asterisk symbol. Answer all of the questions on the screen and click Next to continue. If you miss a required field, you will receive a notification and will need to go back and answer the question before you can continue. If your event registration requires a help form or consents, you will be taken to those sections automatically. This event requires a standard help form, which was completed during the enrollment process. You are asked to review the help information and make any necessary adjustments. Any changes made here will update the help form on the member's profile. Complete the help form or consents and continue. After you have completed the previous sections, you will be taken to the payment screen. If your event does not require payment, you will skip over this section. Please note, payment methods allowed by the event will vary. You will be presented only with the payment method or methods allowed by the event. For example, if your event does not allow electronic payments, you will not see that option. If you would like to pay with an electronic payment method and it is available, you can use the Add a New Card section to enter your credit or debit card information. If you already have a card on file with 4-H Online, you can choose that payment method instead. If you would prefer to pay with a physical payment, such as a check, use the blue Apply button indicating your payment will be collected. Confirm your choice by clicking the Confirm button. You can click Change Payment Method to change your selected payment type. You will be unable to make changes to your payment method once your registration is submitted, so make sure you have selected the correct payment type. If you need to make a change after your registration has been submitted, you can contact your local extension office. Please note your payment method cannot be changed after your registration is approved, so please take the time to make sure it is correct before submitting your registration. Last, you'll be given a summary of your registration, including fees invoiced and payment method. If anything needs to be adjusted at this point, click Back to move back through the registration process. If everything looks good, click Finish. Once you click Finish, you'll be sent to the Members Event Listing. Your event registration status will be listed here. In this example, the status is listed as Pending Approval, which means it needs to be reviewed by a 4-H staff member. Your registration status will adjust as your registration moves through the approval process. Clicking on the event title will take you to an overview of the member's registration, including the invoice.
If you started registering for an event but were unable to complete it in one session, you can complete the registration anytime as long as the event registration is still open. Follow these steps to continue an event registration once it has been started. Click View next to the member's profile, then click Events in the left navigation panel to access their event registration list. Event registrations that are started but not finished are listed as incomplete. Click on the event title to access the registration. You will be taken to the start of the registration, but any information previously added will automatically populate. Continue through the event registration process as outlined in the previous section of this video. Once your event registration is completed, you can click Finish to submit the registration. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this process or run into any issues, contact your local Extension Office or Event Coordinator for assistance. Have a great day.